some of us like a good scratch. And some of us like to pick our noses. Why do we even have these things? How would our grip be affected without them? And how could not having fingernails improve our health? This is what if, and here's what would happen if humans didn't have fingernails. Fingernails are one of the reasons why primates are different from other mammals. They're like the claws you might find on other mammals, only flattened. On average, your fingernails grow at a rate of almost three and a half millimeters per month. Your toenails only grow half as fast. But what if one day your nails stopped growing altogether? How would this change your life? Your nails are made of three layers of keratin. Keratin cells undergo a form of programmed cell death to create the hard form that makes up your nails. The three layers start soft and get progressively harder, and together they create a protective shield. Human nails have led to a booming industry of nail care products and services. In 2020, the global nail care market was estimated to be worth $2.7 billion. But nail care isn't the reason we have nails. Archaeologists believe that around two and a half million years ago, our ancestors developed broader fingertips. It was also around that time that they started picking up stone tools. But it's still not clear if these two important evolutionary developments are linked. Claws are good for scratching, climbing, and digging holes, but fingernails are critical for being able to do delicate movements. Have you ever thought about how you can separate pages in a book or pick up small items like a coin? It's because we have nails. It might not seem like nails have much sensation, but underneath that hard shell is an intricate network of nerves. You can grip large things with your hands and pick up small, thin objects too. It's a perfect balance. The evolution of grooming claws has come from thoughts that as our nails got smaller and smaller, we could more easily groom ourselves and each other. And that led to more social bonding. It's cool to think that even now, getting your nails done is still a form of social bonding, which we can trace back millions of years in our evolution. But if you didn't have nails, how would it affect your health? Well, it would be good and bad. One of the reasons you have fingernails is to keep viruses and bacteria from getting into your body. So if you didn't have nails, you would get sick more often. But that would also mean that less dirt or bacteria could get trapped underneath your nails in the first place, which can cause all sorts of infections. You'd be surprised to learn that fingernails have another health-related use. They work as indicators for certain health conditions. Without them, it would be harder for you to check for sickness immediately. For instance, peeling nails might signal an iron deficiency. Or horizontal ridges on the nails might indicate kidney disease. I said might. Don't listen to people on the internet. Go to your doctor to seek medical advice. If we didn't have nails, our everyday lives would be very different. Imagine not being able to pick up small objects so easily, or having to be more careful because you might pick up an infection. Worst of all, you might miss out on the joy of getting your nails done. And while you're in the beauty salon, imagine that you didn't have hair and that everyone was bald. It's a little hair-raising to think about, so let's save this story for another What If.